That's challenge number three. So if we hit launch, our goal is to have all these marbles hit all the stars. This is how the question came is they already gave us one formula. We can even turn it off. So we could potentially do a blank slate, but I kind of want to leave this here because it adds an interesting challenge. How do we get behind it? Let's duplicate it and make a new one without a restriction. Now this green one has extended it out all the way. And I want to use this green one to get the other stars. Let's line it up with this middle star. So let's bring it down six. I'll say minus six. Let's move it to the left three, or in other words, one to the left of the Y axis. So we'll say plus one. And now we've lined up with the bottom star. Now let's make it wider. Let's make it twice as wide. Let's make this four and eight. This will probably solve it right here. If we want to make it more interesting, we could say plus A, and we can add a slider A, and then we can hit play on the slider and we'll move it up and down. And then if I hit launch right at the correct moment, right here. And I got it. So what's weird, these marbles aren't following the green thing. They're following where the green thing was when I hit launch. Let's see it one more time. Boom. And they're just going to float in air. There they go. And I got it a second time. How exciting.